This problem is a twist on the Wittig reaction because they give me the alkene and I have to decide which one is going to be the ketone, which one's going to be the 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 elite that we're going to use. All right, so when you do the Wittig reaction, you're putting two double bonded carbons together. One is the elite, that one is attached to a phosphorus. The other one is a ketone or the aldehyde. So what I'm going to do right away I'm going to actually just put the hydrogen that's attached to the double bond. That's a vanillic hydrogen. And I need to know that because when we make the E-lead, we make the E-lead through an SN2 reaction. And if we're going to have a good SN2 reaction, we're going to need the most unhindered alkyl halide possible. So methyl halide would be a much better choice than a primary and the primary would be a much better choice than a secondary. So one of these two double bonded carbons used to be an alkyl halide, the other one used to be a ketone or an aldehyde. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to look at the double bonded carbons and see which one is primary and which one is secondary. Alright, so right here, this carbon is attached to one other carbon, so that's a primary uh, carbon. Notice that I'm not taking into account the other carbon, I'm just looking at the chain that's attached to it. So that carbon could have been a primary alkyl halide. If we look at the other carbon, the other carbon is attached to two other carbons, so that could have been a secondary alkyl halide. And again, if we're going to do a good elite, a, a lot of elite, a primary alkyl halide would be much better than the secondary. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a little bit what we call a retro synthesis. We're going to see what we put together to make this double bond. And I'm going to cut the double bond. I'm going to use the arrow. That means we're going backwards. So this arrow means came from and that we use it only to get the starting materials. So you separate your double bonds and we're going to make the more substituted carbon. This one we said that it was secondary, it's attached to two carbons. We're going to make the more substituted one the carbonyl the other one, we're going to make it the elite. So we're going to attach a phosphorus and three phenyl rings attached to the phosphorus. So to make this double bond right here, we took this ketone, which is 2-pentanone, and we reacted with this elite right here. By the way, if you want to make the elite, we're going to take triphenylphosphine, and we're going to react it with one, two, three, four, so you have four carbons and we're going to put a bromide, I'm going to put it down. So we took uh, butyl bromide, we reacted it with triphenylphosphine and then we added a little bit of butyl lithium to make the double bond right here. So this is our elite. We reacted our elite with 2-pentanone and it gave us our product. This is our product. So we went all the way back to our starting materials.